Hi. In this video, we will show you how to set up Easy Drummer for advanced routing of its multiple outputs in Cubase. We are using Cubase 4 in this instance, but the principle is the same for Cubase 5. Start off by opening the VST instrument window and select Easy Drummer to add it to your project. Click Create in the next dialog to create a MIDI track to record or drag and drop the MIDI information you want to be played back by Easy Drummer. In the VST instrument window, click on the Activate Outputs icon right next to the plugin name to display the output drop-down list. Select Activate All Outputs. Note that additional stereo outputs have been added to the Cubase mixer. By default, all Easy Drummer sounds are routed to the plugin's first stereo output. Let's send each kit piece, or more exactly, each microphone present in the studio during the recording session to its own track. Bring up the plugin interface and access the mixer window. Click on one of the fader output tracks and select the multi channel entry from the drop down menu. This preset automatically assigns the microphones to separate outputs for optimal interoperability with expansion packs, so we recommend using it whenever possible, at least as a starting point. You can, however, change the track's individual assignments as you wish by selecting one of the available output options for the plugin. Now, let's check that everything is set up as intended. Select a groove in Easy Drummer and press play. Go back to the Cubase mixer. Solo the different tracks. As you can hear, the Easy Drummer outputs are now routed to separate tracks. That's how easy it is to set up Easy Drummer for multiple outputs operation in Cubase.